Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds all messed up. I've been battling a cold for a week and it's not letting up. I'm driving me nuts. So, this video, I wanted to be rebuilding the drive shaft, but I still haven't gotten my carrier bearings. I have everything else except for the carrier bearings. Uh, the company that I ordered them from, they sent me an email saying they're on back order. So it's probably going to be a few weeks before I get them. Yeah, I guess that's just how it's going to go with these cars. I mean, you know, the 2G Eclipses, uh, or DSMs basically, are, you know, they're getting old. Parts are probably going to be getting harder to find. And I'm trying to go with, uh, you know, all OEM stuff. So that makes it even more difficult. Um, so, you know, I mean, if you think about it, the last DSM was manufactured in 99 so like 20 years old you know the newest one is 20 years old you know mine's a 95 so it's even older than that but anyways so what we're going to be working on today is something that i i haven't really put off but i just haven't really been thinking about is now that we have the drive shaft in we know everything lines up everything's good so now we got to go under the car, uh, torque the nuts on the uh, subframe, uh, subframe bolts. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I just snugged them up because I wanted to make sure everything was going to uh, line up the way it's supposed to before we, you know, tightened everything up. So got to do that. And then also what we're going to do is something that I actually have been kind of dreading doing is welding these up. You know, these are the, the subframe bolts, so we need to, you know, we need to weld across here. Probably put a couple tack welds to the sides of the, the frame. And then we need to, you know, bend the flat down and weld that all up and, you know, do all four of them. I gotta take these interior panels out so, you know, we got room to get to the, the back one over there. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. We are gonna, yeah, I'll get this stuff out of here, get the welder out, get the torque wrench out, get to work. getting it all welded up uh, I'm not too worried about these welds looking good at all you're never gonna see these once this is closed up I'm just trying to make sure that it's nice and secure and then after it cools down just spraying spraying it with some black paint just to keep from any rusty crusties coming in the future because like you can see there's a hole right there so that's just a spot for water to get in here you know but there's also holes on the bottom for water to drain but don't want any water sitting on these welds and getting all rusty so just hitting them with a the bit of paint before we close this up all right that's about a million little spot welds <laughs> there. but i'm keeping it nice and flush i was using this uh putty knife to just hold it down flush 
and get some spot welds. You know, I did that all the way around. So once I grind this, it should be all nice and flush and smooth. So uh, I think I'm gonna break out the grinder. I still got a couple little holes here. So it's not gonna be perfect after I grind it, but it'll give us a better idea where we're at. grinding looks a little better and you can see like some of these tight spots here like in here and right around this little hump I'm gonna have to get my uh, Dremel out to get those little spots but if it'll focus you can see we're pretty nice and flush and so once all this welding is done and and I get it sanded down nice and smooth uh, I think it'll look pretty good you know, maybe uh, maybe there'll be a couple little spots here and there. I might come back with some, uh, you know, some Bondo body filler and get it all nice and smooth. Uh, we'll see when I'm done. I don't know how. I mean, I want it to disappear so it looks like this was never cut open, but I don't know how much how much time and and work I want to spend on this because you know it's gonna get covered by the carpet and the you know the plastic pieces and stuff. So. You're not really ever going to see it unless you take it apart, so yeah, we'll see. I'll uh, do some more spot welds in these, these little holes still in here and uh, do some more grinding and work on a little bit more and see where we're at. Alright, after a couple more rounds of welding and grinding, here's what we got. So, there's still a bunch of little pinholes everywhere. But I've been trying to fill them, and every time I put a little tack right in a hole, like these little guys, it just opens up another hole next to it. <laughs> so I think I am just gonna, you know, put some body filler, get it smooth, and call it a day. Like this right here, every time I put a little spot in there, it just opens up more. So I'm gonna just leave it. Um, but it's all perfectly smooth feels real good so I think after I put some body filler on there sand it nice and smooth put some paint on it it'll uh, it'll look good but that's gonna be for another time because it just took me uh, maybe two hours to do this well in including welding inside but yeah so I got four of these things so that's eight hours of work so, but I'm going to spray some paint on here right now just to keep any of this from rusting in the meantime. Man, after getting some paint on there, it don't look too bad. I mean, you can still kind of see where the holes are there, but I mean, when, once I bondo and sand it smooth, I don't think you'll be able to tell where it was. Not too bad. Alright guys, we got all the all the welding and grinding and all this stuff done it took way longer than I thought it was going to take uh, just the way I was doing it I was trying to you know do it perfect and then uh, you know once I got to the back ones I was like you know this is taking forever and I'm gonna put body filler anyway and sand it smooth so I don't need it to be perfect with the welds so what I was trying to do when I was welding this, um, see, I got that one done. I already showed you guys that one. Uh, that one done. That one done. I already threw the interior pieces back in here, but the other one's done back there somewhere. But what I was doing is, you know, I would spot weld, spot weld, you know, spot weld, spot weld, and then, you know, let it sit for five, ten minutes or so, let it cool down. And then go right next to them, another spot weld, and then I just kept repeating the process until I had spot welds all the way around. Then grind it down all smooth, and then go back and spot weld any holes, grind it smooth, spot weld more holes, grind it smooth. And it was just taking forever. I mean, like this one came out all right. There's still like some 
some little holes here but all this is nice and smooth and filled um, but I'm gonna sand this down and do body filler and everything so when it's all said and done it'll look like it was never open but that seriously just took way too freaking long and and I'm super tired you know I'm been cramped into this little car all bent over you know hunched over like this the whole time and my body's killing me now <laughs> um, but at least that's done for now uh, I'm not gonna do the body filler yet I'm gonna actually wait until I get to uh, the bodywork stage on the outside so that uh, you know because I gotta go buy some body filler and I don't want to you know buy a tub of body filler just to do these little spots and then you know it'll sit around for months or whatever until I get to the the outside body work so I'll just do that all together at the same time so but that's all done um, got some good news though my carrier bearings for the drive shaft finally showed up so so yeah I think the the next video is gonna be um, rebuilding the drive shaft that should be interesting because I've never rebuilt a drive shaft so I'm gonna be do, paying a lot of attention to um, Jeff Romobile's videos he's got the uh, drive shaft 101 videos where he rebuilds the, the DSM drive shaft so I'll be paying attention to that while I while I do mine uh, so yeah I think that's gonna be it for this video um, it shouldn't be too long. We actually really didn't do much. I mean, it took me forever to do this, but for you guys watching, it probably hasn't been very long. So, uh, so yeah, you know, I appreciate you guys watching and and the, you know, all the subscribers and everything. It uh, it encourages me to keep going, and um, you know, it it feels good knowing that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing and somewhat entertaining to you. So, so that's pretty cool. You know. It, it uh, just gives me that drive to to keep going with because as you know with the history of this car I tend to start things with it and then forget about it for years <laughs> so so you know with uh, with everybody enjoying the videos it, it keeps me uh, wanting to to keep working on it so so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys watching you know it's really cool so uh, that'll be it um, you know, if you haven't seen the previous video, you can click the link this side. This side of the previous video. I uh, have the next video linked right here. And if you're enjoying what we're doing, I hope you hit the, the subscribe link here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.